Okay, so we're here today with uh, two elite triathletes, Kate Bevilacqua and Guy Crawford, both dating. We've uh, <laughs> we noticed some uh, in interesting things when we've just w been watching their uh, swim strokes there about uh, how they uh, make their stroke efficient. Guys, you can see, just looking at, just eyeballing the two athletes here, Guy much taller than Kate, Guy being six foot three and Kate five foot Five foot nothing, okay, so quite a big difference between the two. But what we're going to look at just now is something which we should call an ape index. And about a year ago on the Swim Smooth blog, we ran this, looking at the difference between, um, the, basically the ratio between the length of your arms and your height. Some people have very, very long arms relative to their height. Some people have very, very short arms relative to their height. And we recommended that because of this, it might impact on how that swimmer swims with respect to their stroke rate. So let's, uh, let's get the two guys over here. So Kate, if you want not mind just coming up against the wall, or up against this bar here, Stretching down, you can just slip your flip-flops off there, or thongs as we call them over here. Okay, stretching up. When I say flip-flops in Australia, no one knows what I'm talking about. What the heck is that? Anyway, so Kate stretching up the bar as hard as she can go. Now just coming and standing away, and just standing up against the bar there. So Kate's height there, probably around about, if we just brought it across, around about an inch and a half, maybe up to two inches, um, arms two inches shorter than her than our height that would be a negative ape index value of minus two guy if we do the same thing with guy here now guy swims with a very long smooth freestyle stroke we've just been trying to make it a bit longer and smoother or a bit smoother rather okay now just stand up guy now if we see the difference here guy standing up nice and tall okay his arm span is around about four inches longer than his height big contrast between the two so not only is there a difference in her height but Guy relative to his own height has much much longer arms than Kate does now if we to be really interesting if we just stand them side by side Guy just stretching them out and Kate just here just against the fingertips look at the difference that we have here nearly nearly a metre difference so for Kate to be sort of told that she needs to swim down the pool in less than 40 strokes because that's something that Guy can do very very easily and does all the time is going to be actually detrimental to her swimming. Kate, in order to actually generate propulsion and speed, needs a higher stroke rate because of the shorter arms there. As simple as that. Hope you've enjoyed that little tidbit there. See you next time.